Welcome to Inside Out Boys with your host, Cody Bass. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Big hello to all you new subscribers. Thank you! Thank you for joining us! Thank you! For sure. Um, we are going to get back on this little five burnt five nineteen and sixty three in the year of our Lord. We are going to get back at it. Um, I got the power head off. I got the garbage radar off. Haven't broke into it. I'm just amazed. It's actually pretty clean looking. Um, but what I got to do now is I got to address that broken gear shift. You understand? I did this once before. And I think I got a video up on it. I might have to go back and watch my own video. Figure out what I did. But anyway, the first thing is to get the broken one off out of there, whatever. And then now that I've got the power head off, I can take them uh, nuts up on top of the shift rod that comes up there. And that'll let me uh, drop that lower unit. Now, five and one half rebuild kit. The problem is, it ain't all there. But, Good news, that is 434424 impeller. Hopefully that's the one for it. I'll show this in a minute. And I got some other little gaskets and heck I even got a set of rings. Uh, what's this other thing here? What is this? Uh, brand new head gasket. I don't think we'll need that. But the one thing that I don't have, and I still got some other places in my parts connex I can look and see, but I don't have the power head to base gasket. And then I got the original one that, that was on here, the little felt uh, thing that goes on top of the special washer that sits on top of the carbon spring-loaded thing and I really when I do these I like I like it I like that that felt gasket to be new so I gotta find one or even possibly make one so that's where I'm at on that but we're gonna get back on it and uh, see if we can't get that lower unit drop down there and see what we got in there and then uh, address that broken shifter on the side. So let's get to it. <laughs> I dropped it. Hmm. All righty. I, I took that little nut off the top. And so, now, she wasn't just dropping down there for me. I should look. I don't see any of, any of them under there, but I'd still like to look with a flash of one light. Should be just those four, I believe. Yep. It's just straight. Yeah, let me get 
little bit of fry utensils. That is the core rack. But I dropped my little washer that goes up top. I'm sure that's what it was. Now I just gotta find it. Oh. Not there, not there. Where? Then where? Now I'll find it. Let me lower it down. carbon thing went. I got the washer and the uh what you call it. Okay and there's the carbon and there's the spring. That's what I heard. It stuck up on that drive shaft. I'm just gonna lay them right here for right now. Even though you know this cork washer the one that goes up there it's really in good shape too though. I may even have some of these new. So I'll, I have to look. I have to look. Alright, so. This broken shift handle, of course it's all like seized for the most part. It's got a screw going down in there. Let me see if that will come out. If that will at all. I don't know. I just don't know. Ah, it's a turning. It's a turning. But I want to get you guys down in here so that you can see. Let me turn on my other light. That might help. Is it plugged in? I don't know if it's plugged in. We'll get it plugged in. I don't know how much that's going to help, but at least shine some light over in there. Um, but anyway, I'm taking... There's where the shift rod came up through this thing right here. And then I'm taking out this screw right here. And then I think I can slide this over enough to get, get it off of there. So we'll see. I'll tilt you down in there. Hopefully you can see the gist of it. But the screw is coming out. There's a screw and a washer it looks like. We got to get them out of there. There, I got the screw and I got the washer. So let me set them over here with them other parts. Now, can this thing clear that? Or am I going to have to take this other little thing? I think it'll clear it. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah. So that was like that and that was like that. Yep. So it went just like that. That slides onto the shaft. Screw goes in. Shift rod comes up through here and a nut on the top. In fact, I'm gonna put that little brass up right back on that shift rod. Right now. So I don't lose. So I don't lose it. It's 
basically the same little brass nut that goes on the uh, solenoid small post. Well, she feels like she shifts good, so that's, that's good news. And it does look like I have the right, correct water pump impeller, but I don't have this gasket. And it's not in the greatest shape. I mean, it's there. And I could gookum puck it if I have to, but I'm going to look see if I got another one or if I can get another one anyway. But uh, right now I'm going to concentrate on getting that shift rod out of there. So I'm going to see if I can take a punch. Well, okay. So here's the original one that came out of it. Now I can take Diablo and I can cut this on both sides and just bloop, throw that piece away. And that would leave me with this shaft. This is a more period correct. I don't know what this is off of, but I know they look very similar to this one. Minus all this stuff, which I can take off. I don't need that on there. And uh, I could cut this, this one off and get my shaft. I'll have to cut this off too. No, that's no problem. All I need is a handle. And then this would pinch together and hold it onto the part, you know, once I get rid of this, it would hold it onto that round part of the shaft. And then, I think that's all I would need, need to do, just get rid of this, put a bolt and a nut through there so it squeezes it really good. And then if I wanted to, I could even come in through here with a roll pin and a hole and tap it in there so it, it becomes real solid. This is a more modern shift handle off of I have no clue. I could probably do the same thing with this. But I like I like this period one. So I'm gonna cut this off, cut this all off. And we'll go from there. cut down in there a little bit but it don't matter now I got to cut this so yeah so that's gonna be yeah that's got to go so let's get this guy out of the device and where should I what, what angle of attack maybe yeah probably right there something like that Something like that. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, maybe more like that. And the vice. Let's try that.
Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go over to the bench grinder over there and just touch it up a little more. Hopefully you're in there. That looks a lot better now. Then that goes in there. And then I gotta make sure I have that right. Which I think that would stab in there. And we decided that the little hole goes down. So this would need to be just like that. Now I'm going to give that a paint job after I clean it up a little more. And that will look, I think, pretty period to this motor. What do you think? I think it will. I think it'll work. Okay, I got the handle kind of fitted, the shift handle kind of fitted, and I gave it a shot of paint. Now I'm going to get into this water pump, and we're going to see what we got. Something I could print out on this one. You see this little pin? See that little pin right there? There's a little pin. That's what allows that spring and that carbon washer and all that to be shoved up and make the seal on the bottom of the power head. It's important that that pin is there. If you don't have that pin there, it ain't going to pump water probably at all and it and and it it's going to liable to get into your bottom cylinder. That pin has to be there. Got them all out. There we go. I'm guessing this water pump's been in here probably forever. It surprised me if it ain't the original. Come on up there. the aluminum housing overall looks pretty good a little salt in there and whatnot rubber grommet even looks pretty good but I got new it's real hard though so we'll replace that and in here I gotta get my little key there's our impeller let me grab his key so I don't lose it put it in a little baggie yeah, you can see this is really bad memory set. Um, these veins should be, you know, more straight out. This would probably pump water, but not well. And then this plate here, there comes my, look at that, all that crap. Ugh. A little bit of water in there, not much oil. That's not a good sign. Oh, look at there. I found the other, found the other little nut that goes on top of the shift rod. I can't get it with gloves on. 
There, so. I thought there was supposed to be two up there. And now there will be. There we go. So. There we go. We'll clean this all up here. Not too bad. Dirty in there, but nothing's eating away or nothing. Butterfingers, butterfingers. In there with you, you go. In there with you, you go. Now, we can slice open the Nubian pillar. Now I need the drive shaft in there. Well, that's kind of strange. Hmm. Hmm. It's just got like two sides to it. I guess you got to get those lined up pretty good. Weird. Yep, we get a pair of live scrapers. See if I can turn it on those. see if this is gonna fit like it's supposed yep that's the one that is the one that be the one so we'll put it in my little bag I got my pen in there got my water pump key in there heck I didn't even use but the roll pump, uh, roll punch, which is fine. That is fine. Okay, now get up there with Jaws. Get many crickets. Um. Yeah, we just pulled it out with the old van iron tires. So I gotta clean all this up. I gotta clean all that up. The plate, everything else. Oh, let me show you. We'll put another coat. Okay, see what it did, see what it did? There's the shift handle. I had to cut some more aluminum off of that thing. Yes, I did. But, see, I put the nut and the bolt through, and that holds it. And I didn't have to cut away anything structural. Yeah, I need another coat. So give him another little coat, another little coat. Let that dry. You know, you know, like that. Let me get that off of there. And then I'm just gonna stick it right back in there for to hold it for me. See that? So we got us a shift handle built, and, and I, I dry hooked it up. I put it in, put the uh, shift lever bell crank that goes on, that will hook to the shift rod and made sure all that fit. And it will clear and everything. I should have went ahead and cut that little piece off. Yeah, it's good enough. It looks, if you look at it, it looks period to me. It looks, you know, I don't know what that's off of, but, uh, it's got the V in it, you know, the way this, 
the bonnet shaped on these things in the back. They got that V. See this V here I'm talking about? Right here. And then if you look at the back of the hood, see there, see that V on the back of the hood? That's what I'm going for. But right now I gotta do some cleaning, get things cleaned up, I'll be. Well, I wanted to show you money. I wanted to show you what a 30 foot welded aluminum boat running wide open throttle does when it finds the rocks. This is, I believe, a 300 Yamaha. And boy, he found them. He found them. What do you think that propeller cost new? Yep. That's what happens when you run wide open throttle and your draft exceeds the available water depth. Still a lot of good bolt-ons on this motor. The starter, the fuel filter, alternator, those kind of things. But nothing internal should be used. With impact damage like that, you just, you couldn't do it. Tilt trim motors. I think he said this motor had eight hours on it. He bought it at auction down in California. Had it shipped up up here. It was basically brand new. They got it off a drug running boat coming out of Mexico. And it had two of these on it on it from what I understand and they auctioned him off at a police auction and he got one or DEA or whatever but like I said there's good bolt-ons that you could use pulleys belts starters But nothing inside that puppy. Because she was moving when she hit. And you can tell that in many different ways. Yep. Yappa dabba doo. See that white yuck? Get it out of there! You gotta get it out of there. See all that white yucky powder? Looks like smoke. Okay. It's looking good. I actually like these aluminum housings. Um, of course, today, every, see all that? <laughs> today, everything is um, plastic. Plastic! But if I can save these aluminum, aluminum, Luminati, Luminati, yeah, there. Ooh, look at that, big puff. Big puff of salt. And then I can also take a little 
emery cloth. But you see that you see that channel? That channel right there. I gotta I gotta get my, my things over here. You know, you know, you know the things. The thing. Ooh, that's a good one. Get that out of there. Yeah, this this works good. I don't even know what this thing is. What is this? Look at this stupid thing. Man, it works good. It's like a file. It's got it's got grippies and stuff everywhere. Everywhere. Ooh, that's good. I don't know where I got it. I'm glad I did. It works good for this. Really good. <laughs> yeah. Moss smoke. Uh, see all that white? See all that white? Yucky. Uh, this guy will get it, though. This guy will get him. He'll get him. He'll get him. Ooh, look at there. Look at that. This thing works good. <laughs> Should have been using this all along, I suppose. Yeah, that thing works good. Don't know where I got this. It was a recent find, I think. Find from where? Probably a dumpster. Dang, it works good. Get that stuff right out of there. Mm -hmm. Okay. That is much better, don't you think? Look at how that thing cleaned that up really good. There's still a little more in there. I can get it. I can get it. I can get it. I can get it out of there. This thing works good. Who knows what this is? Man, that thing works good. I don't know what it's called. I don't know what it is. I don't know where I got it, but I like it. I sure do. There we go. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's a neat thing. Um, also... I took that same wire, whatever you want to call it, um, my wire brush on the drill. Does they have a term for that? But anyway, you can see how good I cleaned that up. I still got to do the plate, but we're getting there. Okay. If you've watched my videos for any time at all you would know that I am the proud owner of a Wilton bullet vice I mean a big one sorry about my workbench it's always messy um, because I work there but look at that beautiful Wilton bullet that's a Willet sorry that's a Wilton bullet wonderful vice I've got many vices I've got some Columbia's but this is is this one made it into my shop and it's it's my favorite this big old giant beautiful Wilton bullet now I want to show you something I scored at a yard sale. Look at that. Of course, I've went through the whole thing, took it all apart. That is what is known as a Wilton baby bullet. I could not believe it when I saw it. Um, yes, that, that, I have been looking for one of these for a long time. The Wilton Baby Bullet. How good is that? So now I have a pair. I have the Big Bullet and the Baby Bullet. And I've been looking for this guy for a long time. 
and I could not believe it. And I got it at a steal. So I am so happy. Well, this one's getting a little long, so I think we'll wrap it up right here. And uh, we still got a long way to go. We're getting things cleaned up. We're getting things put back together. I got to go look, see if I got that base to power head gasket and so forth. So, that'll be a wrap on this one. As always, that's one more hack from Kodiak. Thanks for watching. More vids are coming on Inside Outboards with your host, Cody Bass.